Hi, this is Kribba, working as assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Instrumentation Engineering, Sri Ramakrishna Engineering College, Coimbatore. Uh, today, I am here to present a video regarding classification of physics scientist data set using machine learning technique. Before entering into the topic, I will just introduce the contents what we are going to discuss. First, introduction to machine learning. Second, types of machine learning. And third, we are going to discuss about uh, a classic Fisher Scientist data set and fourth steps involved in classifying Fisher Scientist data set. And finally, we are going to discuss about how to classify the Fisher Scientist data set in MATLAB environment. Uh, first, what is machine learning? So machine learning is nothing but it is a subset of artificial intelligence. Uh, machine learning is mainly used to build a model based on the sample data set or we can call it as a training data set. Based upon the training data set, the model will be trained and whenever it is exposed to the new data, it will be going to predict the data. Okay, so this is what a machine learning is dealing with and uh, types of machine learning. So there are totally three types of machine learning. One is supervised machine learning, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. Uh, supervised learning is nothing but will be having input attributes and output attributes. That is, we will be calling it as a label data set. Generally, classification and regression can be handled in supervised machine learning technique type. Unsupervised machine learning is nothing but we'll be having unlabeled data set. We'll be having uh, input attributes and there will be no output attributes. Uh, example, uh, clustering and association can be done in unsupervised machine learning. And finally, reinforcement learning is nothing but there will be no data set based upon the experience. It will be uh, the model will be trained and predicted. About Fisher Scientist data set. So, uh, uh, Fisher Scientist data set is a popular and classic uh, problem. Uh, here we'll be uh, having uh, three different kinds of species Setosa, Vesicular, and Virginica. Based upon the input attributes, the species will be classified. So, the input attributes are sepal length and sepal width, and petal length and petal width. So, these are all the input attributes, and the output attributes are nothing but classification of Setosa, Vesicular, and Virginica. So, this is a uh, problem we have taken for uh, machine learning algorithm. And uh, this shows a pictorial representation of vesicular setosa and virginica. And whenever uh, we have to classify the uh, data set of uh, Fisher Scientist uh, model or any uh, benchmark problem, we have to follow these steps. First, we have to load the input data set. That is, here we are going to load the uh, IRIS data set. We have to analyze and visualize the data model, uh, training the model using uh, training uh, data sets and evaluating the performance of the model. And finally, we are going to export the model. Here we will um, see the uh, simulation in MATLAB environment. Initially, we have to open the MATLAB platform. Uh, we could see home plots and uh, apps icon. So in apps icon, we could see machine learning and deep learning uh, icon over here. In that, we have to choose classification learner. So the, we have to wait for the classification learner lab to get open. And after opening, we first, the main important thing in machine learning is that we have to load the data sets. Uh, we can either uh, load from workspace or also we can have it from uh, file. Fine. So I have already downloaded uh, the Fisher Scientist data set from the Google Net and I have saved. So I'm choosing from file. So from file, I have stored here uh, in CSV format. So I'm just clicking on open. Okay. So my data set is getting imported. So as I said earlier, we'll be having four attributes and one uh, output attribute input attributes are four and one uh, output attribute so sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width are the input attributes and species categorization shows use the output attributes so this could be my uh, data set i'm importing so the major step has been uh, initialized so this is the data set icon so where we could see the input attributes and output attributes we have to add all the attributes to the workspace adding all and here i'm going to choose a cross validation technique and i'm going to start the session by using these data sets and uh, the second step is the most important second step is that we have to choose the classifier okay so here we could see a number of classifiers here i'm going to choose all the classifiers for training uh, for this model and i'm going to train all the classifiers for the model so uh, my training gets initialized okay Mm, it take few minutes to load so i could see all the classifiers that i have chosen for this model are getting trained so these are all the 
training data okay here i could see svm kernel uh, for this classifier i am having 97.3 as accuracy uh, tri layer neural networks 94.5 okay 94.0 so likewise for all the classifiers i could see the accuracy uh, the greater accuracy is achieved here okay 99.3 that is efficient linear svm so i am going to choose this model okay uh, in order so the third one thing in this is i have to we have to analyze the performance of the classifier what we have chosen for uh, classify for uh, analyzing the performance here we could see scatter plot confusion matrix and rvc matrix confusion matrix is the most widely used performance analyzer so uh, i'm clicking on confusion matrix here i could see the confusion matrix over here where out of 50 species in setosa 50 are classified accurately that is true positive and for uh, iris vervasi color out of uh, 50 49 are truly predicted and one is misclassified and for virginica 50 out of 50 are classified properly so this shows the accuracy of the classifier what we have chosen and its performance okay and final step is that we have to export the model what we have chosen okay so this is the thing so by this we can able to classify the setosa virginica and versicolor okay so we have exported the model okay so this is how we have to workspace we can also see the trained model classifier how to predict so okay thank you